So what you want to do, you want to take your needle and thread. I already threaded and knotted my needle. And then right here, on this particular cap that I use, they kind of give you a guide. I don't know if you guys can see, it's like a stitch right here and a stitch going that way right there. It's probably kind of hard to see. All right, that kind of lets you know somewhere in that area you're gonna put the clip. Now, some people do sew right there on that line, but me, mm -mm, that's too far down. I just go somewhere in between this line and this very top line. So right in the middle. And of course, you want the combs facing down. You want it going back into the cap, if that makes sense. You don't want to do it away. You want to do it this way, going down. And then you're just really just going to stitch it regularly. I usually do this with a sewing machine, but I forgot to do it before I started sewing all this hair in. So I'm just going to go ahead and hand stitch it. If I can get my fingers right. You want to do it as neat as you possibly can because this is how your customers are going to see it. And you just want everything to look well done and polished. Especially if they're spending two, three, four hundred dollars on a wig. You always want to make it look good. So I'm just going to do a basic stitch. Just your basic elementary stitch. I'm not doing a loop method or any of that. I'm just stitching straight across. Honestly, you don't need a curved needle for this part. You can use a regular sewing needle. Okay. Just going straight across. Like I said, this video is going to be in real time. I'm not going to fast forward it or any of that good stuff. I'm just going straight across like a regular sewing stitch, like your basic sewing stitch. I'm not doing a loop method, none of that. All right, so I got to the end. You see how neat that looks? Nothing is bulky. I'm gonna make a knot at the end. And I'm gonna go right back across. I'm doing the same thing, but going right back across. Just a basic stitch. I will upload a video showing you guys how to attach an elastic band. I know that's another thing that people want to see. So that video is coming soon. So just a basic stitch. All right, and there you have it. It's sewn on there. It's not going anywhere. It's nice and secure. I'm gonna knot this in. All right, and then after I knot that in, I always take the string and put it like under. That way, the knot isn't like sticking out. And I'm just gonna go ahead and do the other side, but that is exactly how you do it. Remember, going to the other side, you always apply it with the combs facing down. You see, the combs facing down, and I'm just gonna sew that, and voila, that's how you sew combs onto your wig caps.